All right, here we have a, a Daiwa BG90 that's the uh, the enter of course is not working. Yeah, come here. And this lever is kind of stiff, but even when you get over to the other side, nothing's happening. Nice reel, pretty reel. It's hard to find these in this kind of condition. So let's open it up and see what the problem is. If we can just fix it because something slipped out of place or if something's uh, kind of awry. Wait, did we have to unscrew something here? I forgot. Hold on. Let's be gentle with such a pretty reel. Yeah, we got a screw over here. The smaller versions don't have uh, <coughs> don't have the screw. Let's go ahead and get that taken out. that in there for now. So I'm going to open this up and remove the rotor so we can see under there, see what the problem is. All right, let's go to remove that screw. I'm going to use this to do it. I think. Yeah, we can get in there. And just pull that shaft out. Come on. Ooh. Near the reel hasn't been used in ages or it's just a showpiece or something who knows but we still want to be careful with this I don't see any corrosion so I don't think that's it just kind of stuck in there. So we can pull this out. That's stuck in there pretty good. <clears throat> I don't want to hammer something, but I think I will. Now we got it to move. I think we're in business now. Uh, 
I'm just doing, I'm doing gentle taps on this. It may sound loud to the camera, I'm not sure. But there we go. It's finally moving. So I'm gonna push it back and forth to kind of free that up a little bit. And we're still getting stuck. see that sorry in out we're close maybe I should look at the uh I guess the phone will be getting it back in, right? All right, there it is. That was stuck in there pretty good. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Just some, a lot of dried up grease. Making it tight. Okay, so let's get to the top part. up and see hmm it looks okay so let's see what's going on uh, it does not look okay the snob is bad somehow so I think we gotta re replace the lever not or it's because of the um, same issue that we had with the uh, getting the shaft out in that the there's a lot of built up or dried up grease on this so let's see I'm gonna remove this so I can try to pop that out I think that's it. I think this would be a simple little fix for this. I'm going to pull this off so I don't have to worry about bending that spring right there. And this stuff is kind of locked on. We're going to leave that alone. We don't need to mess with that right now. Yeah, that's kind of just stuck in there. Alright, so I'm going to soak this, pause the camera, uh, try to get this loosened up a little bit. Then we'll take it out and see if we can get it to work just with all the pieces that we have here. Alright, let's let that soak. 
and I'll see you guys in a in a few. Okay, that's been soaking for a little bit. Let's see if we can get this to move at all, and then try to remove it. I'm using this uh, adjustable wrench to hit the flat sides of this to act as a lever. And oh, there we go. That's nice. Yeah, we're getting it. All right. See if I can push this back down. Oh, that's nice and easy now. Yep. Mm, I think it just got locked up in here somewhere, just with corrosion. All right, so let's put it all back together and see if we can make it work with that lever or if we have to replace that. Yeah, that looks good. I'll put these washers on just in case I need them. So let's see if that is that my lever screw. Yeah, it is. Stay there. Nice. So yeah, works nice. And we can obviously confirm that by putting this this dog on and adding the uh, the ratchet. above it good okay where's my spring set that on in between there oops slipped that on me now we have a dog and we have no dog all right so that's it i'm gonna clean up the rest of this reel and put it together and give it back to the customer but now we know we can fix a reel or fix a BG90 with the existing parts just need a little bit of cleaning up because everything was dried up inside all right guys thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see uh, hit the like button as well tell your friends about the channel and by all means feel free to make any comments if you have them or questions Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.